Hey guys, it's me Rumpel's Puzzle. Um, I'm back with another video. I am back with an update video actually. And I have now painted my arm with the waste management yellow. So it looks exact, somewhat more like waste management new, new waste management color. And you can see all that dust. It's more like garbage and just like wearing after time. Gonna get out of there a bit, but yeah, a little bit of weathering and a little bit on the sides there, and garbage and all that. You know what I mean? That nasty, dusty and crappy garbage. But um, so yeah, it still works good. And I also figured out how to. Configure the packer. No. I made a new compartment. What I did is see, I. It didn't make much of a difference, but I cut a little piece out there so I can actually push it. It's harder to pack it from grabbing it like this, it'll break the piece off, but my Loctite glue can do the trick. But let's try to remove it a little bit. There's one little spot right there. Okay, so one little spot that if you just lightly touch it with the with whatever piece whatever whatever you whatever you have, pencil, probably be something smaller be better. And it packs does the job. And again, I will be selling first gear trucks. I am a part of J A B S Customs, Jabs for short. But so it's gonna give you a better view. See the packers. I'll finger out of the way there. Just get that little flop there. Packs it. Now, Brian has a full eject. I could make a full eject, but I choose not to because I really don't want for a full eject. Um, let's pull a pack of that. Right there, right there. There's, um, there's little there's tracks so that when the packer it won't fall back. It hooks on right on the sides. There's some rough little thing that connects to it and it pushes and it could, and the things in the on the sides of the body go all the way out to the end so it could be a full jack but uh, um choose not to but since I am selling this I do customize to whatever the customers want so and I will be doing the yellow tailgate and I haven't changed it I haven't changed anything on my front motor yet but I will soon painting that and I'll still have the caution decal And I'll have the rooftop door. It's what I can do. But at, for more stuff you order for the for the front motor, more it's gonna cost you. But won't, I'm not trying to make a profit. Like oh, oh, a little bit, like maybe ten dollars. I'm trying to make a little bit of profit, but trying to come as cheap as I can. But more stuff you order. The thing is that I have to order parts from Sean Hile Seven O Two. I have to I have to order parts from him because he's the expert at making all those kind of things. So more more stuff you order, yeah. and I know a lot of you when you guys are making your uh, when you guys have your videos say that the lids on your cans um, are like oh, I don't know, but you guys can't seem to get them open. But kind of figured out how to just got to play with the lid going up and down, like kind of like flopping it up and down like that for a while, and the lid will become like really loose. Yes. Yeah, um, it'll work out pretty good. And yeah, it empties out like this. And the lid will open it. And well, earlier I got to do the lid flip. There you go. Flip the lid, the lid's nice and loose. So let me know what you guys think, and if you guys are interested, I will be doing customize on reloaders, and I'll have those and the 
roll up and I'll have videos of those up in the end of June, early uh, July, so you guys can see what I can do. Alright, thanks for watching us.